Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about our intake and exhaust system we're building here. It's right here on the floor. Slowly getting built out. Gonna add the, sh the mesh and then the filter on top. If you think that's interesting, you know what to do. Hit like, subscribe, hit the bell. Check out other social media accounts like Gab, Rumble, BitChute, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, all that stuff. All right, let's get started. So we're building out our intake and exhaust now how that's going to work is we're going to have the intake the lower side so starting from the bottom see that pt board on the bottom up to these blocks right here so that's going to be the intake from there to here then from here to there will be the exhaust so how we're going to do this is we're going to first finish building out the frame we're going to put on the mesh metal so over there you can see right there where my finger is Put that mesh metal on top, and then we're gonna put that blue filter, you see right there in the corner, all the way in the back, that blue filter. We're gonna put it on. Open up these doors, uh, flip this wall up, and then tie it down by using some screws going through the garage door metal into the wood itself, so that'll hold it in place. And how we're gonna manage the heat and the exhaust is we're gonna have um, like I said though mentioned before those blocks. That's where the Exhaust is going to be so we're gonna have a tarp that'll be Basically um, Attached to that same block height That tarp will then extend all the way up to here, which is this stuff right here We had to move this rig so we can build a wall But it's gonna extend all the way up to that little point right there on this metal rack that point and basically it's gonna direct all the cold air from outside. We're also gonna have fans there. It's gonna direct all the cold air and the tarp's gonna direct it all towards uh, the rigs. And you can see how we placed the rigs. So we got the row right here. One, two, three racks, three racks, three racks. And so if you stand from this side, you can just imagine that tarp. It's gonna be also on both sides, on this side and the other side and on top. And so that cold air will just be directed ex directly at the rigs. Now, once it exits the tarp, which the tarp will stop somewhere around on the last row here, the tarp will stop here. When the tarp stops, this is where all the hot air is going to be circulating. Now, to get rid of this hot air, we're going to then have intake, or actually exhaust fans, placed like one, two, three. And so the hot air will be circling around. You can just imagine the tarp is all the way around the whole entire rigs here. So that means that none of these rigs are mixing around with the hot air. They're only receiving cold air and having the hot air blown out. That hot air will then circulate um, and eventually get, start getting funneled back outside. So that's how we plan on running this. Obviously, you know, every scenario is different. So the way... You know, the way we plan it now could be different once we set it up, once we have it running. We'll see if it works out. If it doesn't work out, then we'll have to just change some things up, maybe run it some other way. But you can see that we don't really have much of an option in this location here. We have to try this option here, this first one right here. And I think it's going to work based on our other videos, if you watch our other videos. You saw that other location has a tarp there. So we're running 400 and about 20, 430 amps from that location, three phase. So we're using all the watts right now and it's handling it just fine. Now there's a bigger uh, garage door, a little slightly bigger. This one's a little smaller, um, but we'll see. It should be able to handle all the heat. Um, but about our options, you can see that we don't really have any other option. Um, we can't just you know, drill on that side and put exhaust fans on that wall because there, it's a continuation of the building. So we can't just do that. We can't drill through here. This is concrete. You can see it's solid concrete. So, you know, we're not going to drill through here or here. So there's really no other place to get rid of the heat other than to blow it out the top. Now, we could maybe use that door, but, you know, that door is just kind of iffy. Uh, it's, you know, we, we plan on using it to just walk in and out of here. We also have that door on that side over there. That goes to the office building. So uh, we can also enter through there. So the last case or the worst case scenario is we might actually have to use this door and maybe uh, put some fans on and blow some hot air out. But 
Probably not. We're going to not try to use that at all. So we're going to stick to this plan here. And uh, it should work based on our other uh, scenarios, other uh, warehouses we had and all the experience we have for building out rigs, you know, ASICs and GPUs. Uh, based off of all that experience we have, you know, we think it, it should work. All right, so make sure you guys are still subscribed, or not still, make sure you guys are subscribed. Subscribe to the channel. You know, tell all your friends, tell grandma. You know, grandma's probably got nothing to do. She's just eating cookies and milk all day and sitting around sewing stuff. She might as well just watch Bitcoin videos, mining videos, instead of wasting our time with cookies, right? That's a good idea for grandma. So make sure grandma subscribes, grandpa subscribes, everyone subscribes to the channel. And uh, keep watching. We're going to be posting more videos once it's all set up. I'll give you guys a tour outside and show you guys how it looks outside once it's all done. Also the interior. Um, and then once we have all these rigs booted up and mining away, I'll let you guys know about the temperatures and humidity and see how it's running. All right. Well, that's going to be for this video. Hope you guys like it. Now, before I let you guys go, I wanted to say, if you are interested in GPU mining, if you're looking for someone to manage a GPU rig for you, if you wanted to buy yourself a rig and then have us manage it for you, such as one of these rigs, these rigs are ready to go. They're just waiting for the GPUs to arrive. They're all set up. You just need the GPUs and uh, they should be arriving in a couple days here. So we're going to boot that up. But if you wanted to buy yourself one, you can. Uh, you sign up a, a contract with us for us to manage it for you for five years. And that includes all... Uh, you know, taking care of it, setting it up, buying all the GPUs, all that stuff. So if you're interested, go to CryptoLLCs.org, send us an email. Or if you're looking for a, a, a big GPU mining farm or an ASIC mining farm, minimum investment for that is 500000 And if you're looking for something like that, we also do that as well. So go to CryptoLLC.org, send us an email, and we'll set something up. Well, that's going to be it for this video. Until next time, bye.